Hello everyone! This video will show you how to create your first interactive presentations in Mentimeter. In this video, you will be able to recognize different interactive question types, create interactive questions, build entire presentations quickly and easily with content slides, and integrate with free stock image and GIFT libraries. After you log in, you can see the home view. You can see all your presentations here. Select new presentation to start creating. This is where you can create and edit your presentation. On the right hand side, you will see different question types and quiz slide layouts that you can choose from. I select multiple choice where you can add GIFs and images on each answers. Under your questions, ask the questions you would like to ask the audience. For example, I would like to ask my audience if they used Mentimeter before. Now I will add two answer options. You can also add images here if you like. Click this button and search. Delete the options that you don't need it. Then you can see the present button here. Click it. Then you can use the presentation in front of the live audience or through an online classroom. Your audience should go to menti.com and type in the code shown at the top of your screen to participate. On this page, you can edit your content Reselect the type and even customize the content. If you want to create a presentation in Mentimeter, just go to Type and scroll down to the content slide. Clicking and add the heading. You can add more pages through the bottom on the left hand side at the slide. Once you complete your slide and you would like to share, try the share button here and select any way to share with your audience. This is the links for the presentation sharing. Now I will introduce six popular question types. You can easily find them at the home page. If you want to test your students' knowledge with multiple choices right after teaching in the classroom, select multiple choice and design your questions before class. You can create up to 12 options it provides four kinds of result layouts and allows students to select multiple options. When teaching definitions and asking your students to brainstorm ideas, word cloud would be an excellent choice for you to design questions. The word that appears more frequently will have a bigger font size. It allows participants to submit up to 10 entries and submit multiple times. Open-ended question is a good choice for collecting students' feedback and knowing their perceptions about something. It provides three kinds of result layouts and supports students to submit multiple times. 
you may select the scale question type for conducting an online survey and asking agree or disagree questions. You can create up to eight statements and decide to show or do not show the total average of all statements and allowed or not allowed the participants to skip single statements. If you would like to ask questions related to ranking, this could help. You can create up to 12 items. If you want to let the audience ask you questions without a designated Q&A slide, do consider this question type. You can also customize some features like allowing students to see each other's questions and approve or dismiss questions before they are shown to the audience. I summarized the basic features of these popular question types Feel free to have a look. If you want to know more about Mentimeter, please visit mentimeter.com and menti.com. You can also explore more tutorials on its homepage on YouTube. Thanks for your watching.